my left foot was on the ground. I was out of the vehicle. And then all of a sudden, just like, boom, got hit completely fucking demolished in the side of my truck. What's, uh, what's been going on in the life of Tom and Don today? I, I need to know. I need to have my fixing. Are we are we a reality TV show to you? Is that what this is? I I think so. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. I did, well, fair it, enough. This is going to become a normal thing whenever I'm out of state. I have to oh, find out right. what exactly is going through the ins and outs of your everyday lives. For all intents and purposes, you've might as well have been out of state for the past year. Well, I kind of I almost was with travel and stuff. Exactly. So I have nowhere to go with that. I just wanted to shame you, but. Well, I'm sorry about I'm sorry about that, I guess. I <laughs> <tell you. laughs> um God, what the fuck's been going on? You know what? I started my day off with a little rolling, you know, a little BJJ. Sticking my sticking my dick in my coach's face. Literally he told nice. me to do that and I did. Um because I'm a good student. I then panicked that I was gonna get a migraine. Um and I consumed maybe a thousand milligrams of caffeine to constrict my blood vessels into a very 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 fine gap for the blood to pass uh that seemed to fix it maybe mm. um took some ex it's this american uh migraine medicine and everything in america to do with medical stuff is uh ten thousand times more potent in some way so mm. apparently i got told that there's been studies done on this medicine and it makes you less empathetic um which is definitely something I need in my life, is to be yeah, less empathetic. I know, you're, yeah, you're definitely a big <laughs> love bug, a big, a big softy for people, aren't you? Yeah. What I really need is to be taken down in a tone or two. You know, mm, I need to stop yeah. with the cuddles, stop with the kisses, <laughs> mm -hmm. stop with little belly rubs. Yeah. I wonder if the reduction is like division, though. You know, like uh, thirty divided by two. If you're knocked down from thirty to fifteen, that's really pronounced. You know what I mean? But, but if, if I'm knocked down from if you're 0. Like 2 0.1 to divided by 0. 0.05, 2. I get it. Exa yeah. Exactly, yeah. You're not going to notice. Mm. I think I have more empathy than both of you combined. Mm. I could probably believe that. I think I'm a shell of who I used to be. I definitely don't. I definitely feel like... I feel like everybody's pretty like unempathetic. I think at a certain point... I think everyone feels so socially obligated to be empathetic. Do you think... Do you, is, that, is that fair? Do you think that's true? I think it's more of a evolutionary obligation so we i mean i think that there's you know? a base level like you feel yeah. bad for things but i feel like i feel like there's a stage where everybody everybody just kind of puts on a little show not like a like oh my god but i think they like they ask the questions they need to ask because it's like the checkbox oh you know what i mean hey you yeah, know no, what i think you're hey, right i, I just clocked some... the backdrop to this and what? I'll have you know, Hunter, I was very worried about you when you were struck by a car, and we haven't talked about that on Cream Crew yet. I don't, oh, sure. I don't think sure, that sure, was sure. a backdrop. No, or but was he, it? Or was he, it? you know what, though? I never got a text back for my sweet little note I wrote him. That's true. I, uh, I, I apologize for being in the hospital and having to deal with that and not responding to the copious amounts of messages. What I am curious, though, is that, as mm. Don pointed out, is that um, you got hit by a car... Uh, a I few did. days ago, L lit literally, literally, literally got hit by a car. So this is this whole empathy thing. All this seems to be on your mind because of that. Is that maybe? Accurate? No, 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 no. I think that like people reach it, and to be fair, yeah, yes, to an extent. <laughs> I, had, I had I had people reach, but but not you guys, but not you guys, because when you text me, it's like I obviously because it would be the same thing. If I heard that Don got was struck by a vehicle, I'd be like, oh my god, is he like is he okay? Like it would be a legitimate concern. Versus you have people on, like, Instagram or, like, people you might follow that message you, right? And they're like, hey, man, heard about what's going on. Just let you know you can hit, you can reach out to me if you need anything. It's like, what, what, why would I reach out to you? Like, it's just, it feels like such a, I don't think that, like, they it comes from a place of them not caring. I just think it's, like, the automated response of, like, hmm. you know, I did, I, I checked my box. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, I get that. There's there's definitely yeah. parts of that. But on the same token, like they could have also just not checked that box. It's true. I th I'm you know, this is the pessimistic side of me, all right? And this was just I was just saying in the aspect of like if a medicine, right, to to connect this back cuz I feel like it's been so far removed from whatever where this even started. 
the the me the medicine aspect of it where it's like oh it makes you less empathetic i guess it's like in what in what aspects like is it just like oh to the immediate people around you you're gonna feel less empathy towards them like if you went home and your wife tom was like being burned would you just look at her well with a we're gonna stare? need to use a more neutral example because obviously <laughs> yes i would corpse stare at her if that was happening to my <laughs> wife but what if it was someone i cared about <laughs> screaming and you're just like <laughs> When is, is dinner, dinner, dinner is going dinner to be done? Darling, I am famished. I have had quite the day making <laughs> yeah. japes and cartoons, and <laughs> I just, cannot if continue. The, if, it, if this was a movie, you would see her fucking, her body, she's already dead, right? You go, you walk into your house, and we all, me and Don, obviously, you know, we all know they lay out your house, so you walk into your house, and on the kitchen island or whatever, it's just her t charred body. Like, it's been done for hours, let's say. <laughs> you emotionally, you look at her, right? Yeah. Nothing's on. The only thing that's on is just the little pitter patters, or the only sound that's made is the little pitter patters of cat paws jumping around and and, and, and the around. sound of them and then, gnawing at her flesh. And I look at them. I go, "All right, for some." Yeah, scraping her way at the fucking char on her leg. And then what happens is, if this was a movie, it would sit there, and the camera would would rotate over, and it's just you walking up the steps without a care. Not even that you're like happy, but it's just emotionless. And you walk up, and you go into your bedroom. You kick off your boots and you kind of just lay back on your bed and you go over and you grab your mask and you turn on your CPAP machine. It's just this loud fucking brrrr, whatever. And you just drift off into a very peaceful sleep. And that's how I imagine the... I would I, I would never ruin my nighttime sleep by having a sleep that early in the day. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, no, no, no. This, let, let's say, how about this is at 8 p.m.? Well, okay. It's not come that on. Early. Let's make it maybe more like 9. Let's be realistic here. <laughs> I went to bed last night at, at uh, 8.45. I feel like we're burying the lead a bit here. Is that the <laughs> phrase? What Hunter got hit by a car. Hmm. That's got to be... If that's worth a podcast, yeah. I, do you know what I mean? Like, we can talk I about still, my cat I still am in later. favor of the hat episode. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can do the hat episode <laughs> what, what, can, and... Can we, can, we, can, we title it, <laughs> can we title it, One of Us Was Struck by a Car, The Hat Episode? Yes. <laughs> it's like a really long, drawn-out thing. <laughs> it's one of us was struck by a vehicle, the hat episode. That is dun, intriguing. Dun, 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 Inherently dun, dun, intriguing. Dun. Yeah, what the f where the fuck did the hats go into this one? <laughs> Where does that <laughs> fuck go into it? Gang-affiliated hats, and I just got struck by a vehicle. Don, I already, I already uh, questioned Hunter on all of this car accident stuff, but I assume you haven't because you're a bad person, so... I wondered if uh, maybe it would be best coming from you to ask him about the accident, because I don't want to, you know, I already know. Hmm. Yeah, I uh, I must confess, all I said is, uh, I just texted you, hi, when I heard you got hit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you never texted me back, and I was really upset. I was like, I hope you Hunter talks to me. just texted hi. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. to be fair. That that has to be the best texting <laughs> that I would have received out of anybody. <laughs> Maybe you would have texted me back. Car. We would have had a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, Donald. That's correct. <laughs> that, yeah. that information is correct. <laughs> that's why I, should, I should have just texted back that. <laughs> that's really. Did you literally just text hi? No, it sent him a very no, nice, very it would have been nice so message. good. I could have believed it. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. what I wouldn't have given. I kind of wish I had that would have been the that would have been the baller move though, huh? To just say hi, and then that could have yeah. answered for days. Well, I'll tell you, it it, it wouldn't have been very empathetic, Don. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. No. I mean, just to wrap it up, because it, it is actually very peculiar. I actually never thought that I would be like, you know, hit by a vehicle in my life. Yeah, Which, to be fair, to to be fair, you know, it, it sounds a lot sweeter than it is. I wish that I was like, because if you get hit by a vehicle, you want something where it's like the nice action thing where you roll over the windshield, you know what I mean? Do a couple <laughs> flips and fall on the ground. That's what I wish would have happened, which I'm so fat and big that that wouldn't have happened. It would have just been this fucking giant, you know, like hitting a moose. That's what it have been like. Uh, you, I actually thought when you got... When I saw a picture on your Instagram of you in an ambulance, I literally thought you just hired an ambulance to do a goof, to do like a skit or a funny. I was like, that Hunter's such a <laughs> joker. Video. 
That guy's so funny. That'd be so expensive. <laughs> that'd be so expensive. I know, so but that's... Expensive. I just thought you committed to the bit. I was like, fuck me. This guy's on another level. But turns out, no, uh, Occam's Razor no, was it's... right once again. No, it's very, it's very real. And like I said, it's not a very fun hit and run kind of story or not even hit and run but just that's like not a true wreck. that's I, pretty I it's said, pretty epic okay well i sat there and pretty much i was meeting a buddy at a bar um from out of town and i pulled in i parked my truck it was completely turned off and i was the my driver's side door was open and my left leg was on the ground like my left foot was on the ground i was out of the vehicle and then all of a sudden just like boom got hit completely fucking demolished in the side of my truck my truck pushed myself and the little step up stool like on your truck that little like step that is on the side of the truck that like pushed me into uh the car part next to me and it just like crushed my leg and i was like pinned on, like in the car parked next to me that's just, not, that's not gnarly. Well, it's not, well, that's what I'm saying, like, it's just not, like, it's not, because when I say I was hit by a car, I think people immediately assume that, like, I was fucking gunned down by a car. This is almost, you know I mean? like, worse. Like, the idea that you're pinned, like, that fucking yeah. person in signs well, or I whatever. Was complete shock. I can tell you right now that, like, it is true. Like, when something happens like that, the adrenaline kicks in, and you're just kind of, like, it almost feels like you're gonna have a heart attack. That's what it felt like to me, at least. I was, like so wired and my heart was going so fast like this the adrenaline that was going through my body and i was just like oh fuck and i was and like there was some pain but it wasn't anything crazy not until like the adrenaline wore off but at first i was like oh fuck and i looked down at my leg and like that metal like the, my foot my leg was just like completely pinned so my 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 leg was completely pinned and like i saw my foot like kind of turning i was wearing those fucking slides those skull slides <laughs> So the skull slides had moved, like, had slid over on the side of my foot. And I was like, I immediately just thought to myself, like, oh, I just, they, I just completely smashed my leg. Like, my bones are broken. And I was trying to kind of, like, get my leg out of it. It wasn't like I was, like, pulling super hard, but I was just kind of, like, twisting a bit. And I was just kind of, you know, I was like, f you know, f fuck, fuck. Just, like, more angry than anything. Because the first thing I thought was, one, I'm moving. That was the first thing I actually thought. We, I mean, you guys, literally the last episode I was talking about how much of a fucking headache this has been. And I was like, okay, I'm moving, and the truck I was going to use to, like, move all this shit is fucked. And then the, the next thing I thought was this truck that I love, that I have wanted for a while, is completely, I mean, it's destroyed. And while this is happening, I'm just fucking aggravated. The two guys that crashed into me come over, and they're just like... You know, they're they're Indian dudes, so I couldn't understand what they were speaking a different language, whatever. And they were pulling on me. They were like trying to get me out of the deal, and I was like, "Get the fuck off me, dude!" I was just they were tr pulling at me in my fucking leg. I was like, "Get the fuck off!" And they're like, "Do you want water?" <laughs> and I was like, "No." <laughs> I said, "Get the fuck away from me!" And they like kind of scurried around the car to the other side, and somehow, some divine way, it like almost re it re like affirm my belief in god my fucking leg i was able to like kind of like pivot it out it was really pretty phenomenal i mean like weird and odd like just fucking odd I was able to kind of like roll and pivot my leg out and my leg was so tense and i was like once again the adrenaline was going and i was like this is for sure broken it isn't snapped because my leg isn't just like flopping around but definitely something's fucked here and I was in just kind of like, the pain was starting to set in, the adrenaline was kind of starting to wear off, and like the real pain was coming in. And I got up in my driver's seat, because I couldn't get out of my driver's side of my door, because it was just smashed up against the fucking car next to me. So I got in my driver's seat, crawled over the fucking console over to my passenger door, and those fucking guys opened my passenger door, and they like tried dragging me out of the vehicle, like they were helping me. And I was like, stop fucking touching me! Do you want water? No! <laughs> I don't want any fucking water. Get the fuck away oh, from me. that's good. And I sat there and I was like, I was like, don't, I pretty much was just like, because they kept getting in their car and they were like grabbing stuff because I think that they were meeting somebody. I think they were drunk first off, but I think they were meeting somebody in the bar because they were like getting their stuff and they're like, you know, talking to each other and it, they, it looked like they were going to go talk to them. And I was like, don't move. Don't leave this. You're not leaving. Anyway, well, he's not thirsty. This, this, so our work here is done. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I can I get water? I'm like, I, <laughs> yeah, no. Do you have water for me? <laughs> Mountain Dew. The uh, <laughs> I I sat there and was just like, don't leave. And I was calling the cops, and he's like, he's like, he said, um, don't call the cops. And I was like, are you retarded? I'm going to call. Like, what do you what do you mean? Don't do you, you just see what you've done? Like, what do you fucking mean? Don't call the cops. And I did because fuck you. Called them. By the time the cops, even, like the ambulance showed up first, and then by the time the cops got there, I mean, like, I was just so fucking out of it. It wasn't even like, it was just like the whole experience was just crazy. I felt, and I felt like a fucking dipshit. I texted my friend on, I just had his number on Twitter, Emperor, Emperor Lemon or Imp Lemon. I don't know if you know him. He does really great YouTube videos, but him and his girlfriend came out and they're like, oh, hey, you know, fuck, sorry. And I was like, Gee, it's one of those things where it's like, obviously I shouldn't feel, it's not like I did anything, but it's just one of those things where like, I feel like a big fat fucking retard sitting here. My leg is like basically shattered. I'm like wincing in pain, <laughs> looking up at them, like while these paramedics are doing shit. And I'm like, hey, yeah, sorry about this guys. Uh, maybe we'll meet up next time. It just fe it just feels fucking. It's just like embarrassing. So to, just, at least so it was just, to me. But. Just to clarify, like you're parked, you're getting out the driver side. Mm. These guys plow into you passenger side with enough force mm. to like ram your truck into the car oh, yeah. next to you driver yes. side. They were driving a like a Nissan Altima, and they were going so fast that they were able to plow like my. F-150, which my F-150, which weighs substantially more than the Nissan. I mean, like the, when I, it, I didn't even take any fucking pictures or anything. I, there's only, the only pictures that exist are just the ones of the crash report. Um, you call yourself the, a w social media that? influencer. I was so, <laughs> so aggravated. And then also I was calling like, I, cause they were like, Hey, we got to take you to, um, this hospital so i was calling allison she wasn't fucking answering and i was like just aggravated and they're asking me a bunch of questions and i called harry and i was like hey they're taking me here meet me there and then it's just it was like a huge whirlwind but i was looking at my truck and i was just like almost on the verge of tears just because i was like really like I, this is just such a fucking huge bummer um in this car, that Ultima, it had plowed so fast, the whole, it, which, you know, they're made of fucking plastic, so it's whatever, but the whole front end of it was, like, smashed all the way up, like, the, the fucking hood of the car looked like, almost like a folded dollar bill, you know what I mean, like, when you fold yeah. a dollar bill, like, in a, it was, like, that smashed up, the fucking motor was, like, hanging out of the bottom of it, they had gone so far underneath my truck, which, it's the Lightning, which is the electric truck, it ripped off like the bottom of the battery, like the cover case of it, dusted both of the oh wheels, which God. the the Ford Lightning or like electric vehicles in general, they have motors on each wheel. And that's how you get that like get up and go torque or whatever. Dusted all of those. The front right motor was fucked as well, just from being parked and it was locked and it just got hit and it just like snapped. And I I don't know about the top. I, it, the guy told me he's like it's basically fucking totaled, is what he said. Um. But yeah, no. <laughs> and then the, <laughs> the last cherry on top was my big fat ass on this gurney, right? Or like the fucking the hospital bed, bed thing, thing yeah. whatever. Yeah. For the ambulance. They're strapped in. They're like, all right, yeah, just lean back a little bit. And my buddy Emperor Lemon or Imp Lemon, he's sitting there and he's like, all right, man, we'll, I'll see you. And he like is waving goodbye. And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm so, so, sorry for this. Sorry you had to drive up. And he's like, no, it's okay. And those fucking dudes that hit me. <laughs> are standing by them, and they wave at me, too. <laughs> <laughs> they wave at me goodbye. Okay. And I was like, okay, I was like go fuck yourself. <laughs> go. I was like, fuck you. And then, uh, you know, just the great news, like right now, uh, we had to stop the recording because I l literally just got off the phone with the insurance people, and um, they weren't covered, didn't have insurance, no documentation of any kind. They're illegal, so too. Oh my days! So it's going to be a uh, yeah. I don't you're know. I mean, I've nothing. never had this happen. I, it's 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 ridiculous. But yeah, who who does fix your car? Are you covered? Like well, well, are you covered for? I mean, I have to pay. I have to pay. I th I think I have to pay some kind of deductible for my own insurance. Is what he was saying. And I was like, fantastic. Which it's just like <laughs> so f okay. Like 
And he's like, I, I honestly, I, I'm so exhausted by everything that I was just kind of like, okay, all right. Um, but I, I'll need to figure it out. But I mean, I, I move in 12 days, you know, not even two weeks. I, I move in 12 days. And I was like, is there any chance that it might be done? And he's like, oh, no. He's like, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. What I don't get is why, like, why were they going so fast in a fucking parking lot? The only lot, thing they said, like I said, the exa- I said, I was sitting there on the side of my driver's side when I got, or the passenger side when I got out after I called the cops. I said, what the fuck happened? What happened? And he said, the only thing he said was, uh, the turn is so tricky. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "What do you What do you mean the turn's tricky? It's at fucking Woodrow's right there. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. It's and it's that parking it, lot. Yeah, it's whenever you par- pull in there. What? And I was like, "How is it tricky? What do you What do you mean? Also, wasn't Wasn't this like you said they're drunk? Wasn't this like in the middle of the day? It was probably like, like seven. It was, it was it, the sun was up in your ambulance photo." I, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it was, it it's, like, it's probably, these guys who like are both yeah, yeah. both illegal and uninsured. The the most surprising know, part so is that they would drink before it's nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 what, what, um... <laughs> the funniest, another funny part too. I forgot to say is, so when I called the cops, they were like, you know, I was going through what happened. Yeah, I was just hit. Blah blah. blah. And they said, "What does the person look like? What is the car?" And I was like, "It's like a Nissan Altima. I don't know what I don't." I was sitting there. The car was underneath my fucking truck. I was like, "I don't know the plate. I can't see it." What does the guy look like? I said, "It's like an Indian guy, maybe early thirties, maybe mid thirties. Maybe what's mid-50s. he wearing?" I, I and <laughs> I looked at the uh, I looked at the guy. He's like, "What's he wearing?" I looked at the guy, and it's like the most fucking like flamboyant like buttoned Hawaiian it wasn't even like a Hawaiian shirt it was like this really tight like almost like pleather shirt that was unbuttoned all the way down to his belly button and he had like this like the skinniest silver pants on with like converse <laughs> and they're like what's he wearing I said I have no idea how to describe it to you <laughs> <laughs> I said, I, I said, you would be able to notice him from the the highway. I said, look to, off to the highway, look at this location. You will you will see him. You two, like you two, as a pair of like you know, you're entwined in this crash together. Must have looked like such a fucking pair, dude. You've got your just big giant... fucking mullet. You've got skull flip flops on. Skull flip flops, just morbidly obese, <laughs> looking like the fucking the fucking orangutan from Jungle Book. And then you got fucking like this like. Indian version of Willy Wonka standing next to me You've with just Indian like this fucking Scarface. crushed tuna can of a fucking car. Oh my god, I love it. What a what a what a wonderful world we live in. And it's it's all like it's becoming a little you know I'm able I'm able to look back on it fondly now. Yeah, after it's part I mean, of like, your biopic. And, and, and because one is nothing, no serious injuries at all. My leg was fucked for a couple days, but I mean like in all honesty, like yeah, nothing a bit of it could have been a comp fix. It could have been so so much worse, like thinking about it like if i was fully out of my car near the bed of my truck or something i would have just been completely crushed like my whole body would have been crushed um you know no surgeries needed no i'm like it's pretty remarkable like it, it, it literally does feel like a almost divine moment like in a you know i know that's like absurd to say but like if the luck there is just crazy you know in a sense yeah, you, also the unlock is pretty out bad of too the car. Yeah, the, well, sure. Well, one, yeah, it's also very, it's a very unlucky situation, obviously, but I guess just in the grand scheme of things, like, I'll live without a truck. That's fine. Yeah, a few seconds you know, like, here or there, be... you could be dead. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That so, is what happened to uh, Indian Scarface? Indian Willy Wonka? I have no idea. Where's, where's I honestly don't know. I haven't, they, He's gone there's in the a wind, police report for whatever thing happened, but... They haven't told were, me. I mean, I don't know. I if they don't, if they they don't have the insurance or anything, so I'm guessing that I'm gonna probably file. I mean, like a lawsuit or whatever. Who the only dude, problem is, do, do you, but you better hire a fucking lawyer in uh, Jakarta because that's where they are already. Well, that's what I mean. Well, that's what I mean is like I don't even know. They might have even just left. They might have just fucking left the country. I have no <laughs> bye idea. Bye bye. Just gone. <laughs> and like the cops that you talk to. I mean, pretty but pretty much though for real. It's like okay, uh, and the cops they're just like. I don't know. I mean, like, our boys in blue don't really seem too too worried about the case or anything like that, I guess is what I got to say. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, we'll follow up oh, with you. Oh, wow, damn, that's crazy. So 
That's all they, that's all they Thank say. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Wow, that's crazy. Hey, that sucks. That's it. That's all you get. Yeah, pretty much. Man. Pretty much. That's fucked. That's so, what a what a what a way to send off from the Texas the, the Texas, Texas sun. Chapter. It feels like yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for like a moving vehicle because I still have to move my shit. So I don't know if, and I don't think they like sell because the biggest problem right now is you got the goddamn Ronald bench. And I'm trying to move that. What is Get the what Ronald is bench this in, in a bed like, of truck? Made up fantasy world you live in. What the Ronald bench? <laughs> Just like it's a collectible, man. That's no, I know, but you're like, yeah, I got hit by Indian Scarface, and um, I'm just now trying to figure out how to move my Ronald McDonald bench uh, from my back garden to my new slave mansion in the Deep South. You know the documentary that, like, the fall of Western civilization, where they're talking about like hair metal and stuff. You've spoken about it, so yeah, kind of. The uh, in a part of that, there's the guy. I forgot which band it is. I want to say Winger, but I don't think it's Winger. The guitarist is, like, in this mansion that he lives in in Beverly Hills, and he's drunk, just, like, in his pool. And uh, I feel like I'm in that part of my life, is, is is my response to the Ronald McDonald thing. Isn't that like... I feel like I'm going to look back when, when I'm older, and I'm completely broke and fucking, you know, washed up, and I'm going to be looking at my fucking sun-bleached Ronald statue and just think about the good times. <laughs> Isn't that like what happened though? Is he, they're like, are you worried about this like ever ending? And he's like, Ugh, fuck no, I'm going to be like Ugh, forever. And then he's got no money now and he's like destitute. Yeah, he lives in like a boat. He put out a music video like, uh, I want to say like 10 years ago. It was really funny. It was very sad, but funny. I, dude, literally, um, I don't know why, but I've been thinking about that thing like a lot recently. Actually, I do know why. It's because like every day there's some new fucking newfangled AI contraption coming out that's so clearly mm. like, before I knew you, I was never very worried about um, becoming like irrelevant in that way or losing the ability to, to earn like an income or whatever. Because always my understanding to myself was as long as you're putting out good shit, it's all it's fine. Like the people will come, mm. which is true to an extent, but I just maybe not. You know, maybe maybe it all fucking goes, and we're in this like very small window where in our prime where we can earn like good money as artists, I mean, and it's like that's what that's what it feels like. Fuck, that's what it feels like, especially on a platform like YouTube, where it's like, I mean, if you really re realistically like the percentage of how many people go more than like five years, it's it has to be under fucking. Pfft. I mean, in realistic, like what? 10%, like honestly, 10% of people, 10% of YouTubers are doing that consistent. I mean, it might be, it probably is bigger now because YouTube is so like embedded in like just human culture and pop culture and like the way we consume media. But I don't know, man. I mean, that's just like the biggest thing is just, it feels like this fleeting thing always. Like it feels like just this, not to fucking be completely depressed, but I know what you mean. Like, it's just like just feels like you have this time that you're allotted and you just kind of have to like grab what you can it's like you have so much time in this like bank vault or something and it's like whatever you can carry out that's what you get but it's like the door is closing you know what i mean it's that that's that's what it feels like to me yeah i don't like that that's uh that's no, I don't spooky either. don't like no nope, don't like and i didn't ever think about it until you came and put that fucking poison in my brain it's just it's my one of my literal biggest fears yeah it's i mean it's the biggest fear especially because it's like the money thing is i mean like you know i it sucks but i guess it's just more so like i really like what i do i think that's the biggest like this is the first time in my life i've ever felt like fulfilled by something working all the other mundane jobs and stuff has been like soul crushing and that isn't to say that like because they are those jobs they're like worthless or something it's just for me i just could never connect with it like i've always was always envious of like my buddies in kansas city or like even like something like my dad where it's just like you work your job and you're happy because you're paying your bills and stuff i just could never get out of like almost this maybe borderline selfish mindset of feeling like i just wanted to do something with like art and like animations and stuff and all that kind of shit and now that I feel like I have, I've been, like, given this, like, kind of gift or something. It feels like I'm trying everything I can to, like, make the most of this gift before it, like, goes away or before people just, like, something else comes along. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just, like, a fucking haunting Well, ironically, I feeling. think that, like, mindset is probably one of the reasons it won't happen to you as bad. 
because you're like constantly mm -hmm. trying to move to the next thing and do the next big thing or whatever and that kind of keeps you mm. relevant whereas us we're like we're, we're about to be like seven detective pikachus deep you know we need to uh, start diversifying <laughs> i think that bit. if i think that if you're seven deep though and you're still doing good i think that the, <laughs> that has to be a proven system of like keep the pikachu detective shit going <laughs> that's just like that's just good business you know what i mean yeah i think to our credit we've survived already like a decade um but I don't know. I and mean, that's been one of the biggest fucking, that's just like one of the coolest things about even becoming friends with you guys is seeing the, li literally following your journey of like, stop uploading cartoons and trying to like pivot and try this new thing and kind of like finding the resurgence of like with the Apex cartoon and stuff and how it like kind of just came back full circle and stuff. It's just very, uh, it's been a fucking odyssey with just your guys' journey and stuff with not even like YouTube stuff, but like you know, trying to get something going outside of YouTube and, like, trying to, like, just figure out what the fuck is to do. And I think that a lot of people don't really give a fuck about that to really look into it of, like, they just see stuff like, God, these guys don't upload. Lazy. And they don't think about, like, the other shit that's, like, going on in the background kind of shit. I think you're right about the half-life of most YouTubers, that it's something like five to ten years, you mm. know? But... I don't know. I, th I think there's some kind of difference if you're in a true entertainment position where you're making fiction, you know, like that. Storytelling is always. Form, yeah, yeah. In some form or another, yeah. it's always there's always going to be demand for it. You know what I mean? Whereas like yeah. whatever unique reality based thing you carved out on YouTube, it's kind of like a meme that can go stale. You know? I definitely think it, it definitely shows its age a lot more mm -hmm. i think because i think even with the thing with like if you can kind of just pivot your art or you can pivot what you're doing and find a new audience because it's like you don't really show that age and i think ironically that does it with a lot of things too especially people like these youtubers who are so young like and even to me like a 21 year old youtuber is just so young in the grand scheme of things like it's like uh it's like yes they're adults but God, even like the from who you are as like a twenty one year old to twenty five is just like so fucking fundamentally different. You like live almost a completely different lifetime and your perspectives changes on shit and like even that audience grows up and everything else, so it's like maybe like more gimmicky stuff. But I don't know. I mean some people also just like you know, I think the game is also seems like just creating you know, a lot of these or a lot of these, you know, uh, fan bases have just survived off of, like, the parasocial relationship of, like, the comfort of, like, returning to a channel. You know what I mean? Like, your weekly fix of something. It seems like that also plays a huge factor in it, too. I don't know if I've changed a fucking smidge, bruv. I think I'm roughly the exact same person I was since I was 19. From the person... Probably a bad thing. Really? <laughs> mm, really? More or less. I, I think, like... No. Deep... No I don't think way. so. I think even just even, like even, the person, even, even since Hunter's moved to Texas, yeah, I you've think changed you're dramatically. Different, from definitely, like yeah. Twenty. I think it's. I don't think it's like philosophically. Like I think that you could have like the same like base principles. I guess I just mean like, I think that if you would be in the same room, I think with anybody, any human, if you were in the same room as like your twenty-one-year-old self, you'd probably just be like, "God, what a fucking dope." You know what I mean? Like I'd fucking. I think that. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> That little hairless, that little mole fucking rat. twink. He ain't he ain't staving off mm. manpower. I'm thirty. I've got fucking strength in these bones now. You just gotta wait for time travel to happen, and then uh, jump yourself whenever you go to like the heart doctor in that one vlog. Oh yeah, just that. Jump yeah, yourself, just reaffirm jump, my jump yourself my hatred there. of London. I would just <laughs> just just get jumped by my time traveling self and viciously raped whilst I'm worrying that I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> just, I know how I think. God, dude, I'm gonna fucking dude, get, go it, back, get it perfectly. To go back in time, to go back in time and fucking rape yourself is such a. <laughs> that's such, that's well, such well, a. Yeah, in, in, oh, I like that. In London, so would you would you wear a mask and like gloves? Who so doesn't know? You know. I don't know. I don't know. I, part would, of me would, would want me to know. What would be know. more traumatic? What would be more traumatic? Like, I think knowing, knowing it's you. Yeah, knowing, knowing it's knowing you. One hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, but it, like if you just it, it'd be more about like that would be so, personal that would be gratification, so but not confusing yourself going into the future. So it's like, yeah, it, it tracks. I, I went to London, I got raped. That just happens. He doesn't have to know it was me that raped him. He'll just blame. I feel London. like yeah, but that's in a way. I feel like in a way though, Tom's mindset would be like, 
That's me from the future. It's like, and then he's just counting down the days. I can't wait to go back in time and rape myself. <laughs> and then I, <laughs> I oh, get oh, to oh, do oh, the oh, rape. Do my time. Uh, and that's in like in a weird way. That's how we never really find the the singular Tom who's just like, oh, I bought this machine. Who started I'm go this madness? Who started yeah. this? <laughs> Do you think? Do you think I would? Uh, Ooh, I wonder. How, I wonder how many more years till the time machine appears. Well, I invented. I feel like I would not want to do the same thing as the past me. So the rape would change diff like gradually every time, and it might create a strange butterfly disturbing, effect. A disturbing yeah, butterfly different. effect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe at some point the loop doesn't close anymore because of this you, like uh, butterfly effect. You you fucking rape yourself with like a pumpkin mask and uh, fucking like World War Three starts or some shit like that. You know what I mean? It's like, like, it's like dude, it's gonna it's gonna be like Looper. You know, I'm just gonna one day just just wait for myself to come back and fucking back. I haven't seen that movie in a while. I remember really enjoying that movie when I first saw it. Do you, do you think it still holds up? I don't know if it even held up that much when I saw it back then. I just want to add the aspect. I, I think I was still blinded by like, because that's Bruce Willis, isn't that right? I just want to uh, mm. add one caveat and to this whole rape thing before we close boom. out of it. Is uh, mm. 20, 20 <laughs> year old me or 19, I don't know how old I was, but I was significantly mm. more jacked when I was younger. Um, mm -hmm. So this might actually not go to plan at I all. I think that That's I all. think the the years have made you cold. Though. The thing about like young Jack kids <laughs> is that they haven't ever had any like real experience. Like you know what I mean? Like you've had years of like of hardship now. That's made you cold and calculated. Now when you're younger and you're like, yeah, I'm buff. It's like anytime something really happens, you're not prepared for it. It's a storm that isn't ready. I don't give a fuck how buff you are. Some dude. Especially a version of yourself. <laughs> I feel like you'd be so mentally disarmed that there's like... It doesn't matter how physically strong you are. I think that you're getting in there. Yeah, no, that's probably true. Would you... Would you, like, be concerned about preserving your brain at all? Like, I don't want to brain damage young Tom. Oh. You know, the, like... The, the, the trauma. Because you, yeah. you could overcome the... Uh, the strength thing if you just you know bottle in the back of the head but then you have to worry oh uh, yeah i think in this scenario i'm so overcome by lust and ravenous appetite that i'm not thinking <laughs> and i just i do whatever it takes <laughs> if you wait if you killed your future self does that fuck up your future at all? does that have any repercussions to your past does that make sense like if your past self killed your future self would that have any repercussions, or is it only when your past self dies does it affect the time frequency? I mean, this is this is yeah, why you can't really you just do... live to go back in time and then get killed by yourself. Yeah, there's no like, but but people think the way this probably works, if it ever could work, is you're actually going to a parallel universe at yeah. a specific point and not the right. same one. Right. And then so basically, no ramifications for your own universe. Right, so you would still live in your own singular universe, but in the other universe you had died. Like, you probably just disappeared. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's always a lot of problems that <clears throat> come into play when you're trying to time travel rape yourself, but I feel like those, are, those are problems for later, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, step one is do the deed. That would 100% be a thing in the future. Like, if time travel ever became a thing, you would see that as like a... I feel like that would probably be a mental illness somebody would have it's like a new form of like pedophilia or sexual assault oh like a fetish to just go back in time or like universe yeah i think so to, but it's but it's like a self. thing it, but it's like a fetish <laughs> it's like a fetish that is like it's i would assume it's criminal but it's like the same way like i don't know like they deal with pedophiles where it's like yeah it's a it's a mental disease people like start trying to rebrand it that you're not like yeah. you're like future yeah, like nambla is yeah it's, it's like like maps for yourself. you know it's just like yeah you try and put a nice shiny new coat of paint on it to trick people. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the arguments would be very, you know, it'd be at the, at the beginning of it. It'd be oh, like, I'm be, having sex with fap. myself. It'd be fap, future attracted persons. Or no way. That That's would, cool. I like that. That would be someone like trying to get their future self to fuck them uh, by, yeah, by setting like a luring trap. You know what, hey, you know what would happen? Pap. Past attracted persons. Yeah, weird, pap and fap. It'd probably be a weird pedophile angle to this. Oh, you could fuck oh, child you! I didn't even think yeah, of that. It's, it's a moral loophole if you go rape yourself. Yeah. That's right. I'm, I, I'm doing child. this to my my body, my choice, huh? That's yeah, crazy. my body, my, my, body choice. my choice. <laughs> just not at the time, but I, I'll make the choice in the future. <laughs> Socrates so. is just in hell. Like, I don't know how to fucking. <laughs> I don't know about this one. one. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, I'm I'm stooped. I don't know. Just let him do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. Hmm. Damn. How many how many time <laughs> time travel infractions do you think until you're not allowed to time travel anymore? Like Dude, you gotta prob you gotta I stop. Do, it, it, Everyone gets one. It definitely would be it would be like a it would definitely be like a driver's license points. I think by that point <laughs> in time it would be the whole world is gonna be like uh Chinese credits though, like social credits. So they won't let you go back in time if you don't have enough social credits. I so you have to, be. that's a good way to keep people straight and honest, because, like, you've got to be a good person to earn the right to go back and molest your childhood self. <laughs> it definitely feels like something that's, like, it feels like equivalent to, uh, like, in the 60s when you could still smoke on airplanes. And then, like, 40 years later, they're like, why did we do that? Like, <laughs> yeah, people have a person. collective, like, wake-up <laughs> call. Be... Like, yeah. oh, that was kind of weird, yeah, huh? Like, yeah, well, back then, I mean, you used to be able to smoke on airplanes. It's gonna be the same thing, like some older guy being like, "Yeah, I used to fuck the shit out of my tiny young self." Oh, it's a bad thing now. Oh, yeah, <laughs> woke mob strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> what would be that? What would be that alternative? Because that doesn't feel like a woke, like a woke mob thing. It would be like a fucking. Uh, <laughs> it's like the the uh, the parallel extreme of like of another woke mob. But it's just people being like, yeah, you probably shouldn't go back and have sex with your younger self. Would it still just be called woke in the future, you think? Or would it be something fun and new? I don't I don't know. I mean, it's if we're at the point where we're going back and predating on our eight-year-old selves, I just feel like that universe is... I feel like, to, to be fair, though, I feel like if we're at that technology, you know what I mean? Like, that readily available, I feel like we don't even have sexual organs anymore. I feel like we are so evolved that we no longer have the basic. We go and mind like, play our like, eight-year-old selves. We go back to I feel like nine, two th early two thousand like, <laughs> mind play. I feel like ninety. I feel like ninety percent of all the crime in the world is just based off of like primitive, like sexual, like I'm a you know like I'm man whatever like you know just like if you took if you took out that element of people actually giving giving a fuck about like sex and that kind of stuff it probably strips away ego and you become this like fully evolved like fucking no one superhuman is, brain hey no one's coming for my dick dude come and take it oh we'll be we'll be long dead before any of this happens i'm talking it's probably like the fucking uh like the south park episode where it's like all oh, the, the humans the are just like they're all like yeah yeah, yeah. they're all like one <laughs> race whatever and it's like yeah <clears throat> i well so. i i hope if that happens that there's like a kind of a modern day nra but for keeping your dicks you know there's like a group come of people who are like, no, yeah, come, come and take it. Come and take it. Yeah. Oh, you want them? Come get them. You em. come over here and you grab this dick. Go ahead and try. I'm going to tell the I'm gonna tell the ATF that I've got five has, dicks, when really has, I got 18. He has a custom, uh, a custom fucking like bear trap belt to where somebody tries reaching for his cock and then gets smashed. Just snaps them up. Gets caught in there. Yeah, go ahead, put your hand right. there. Go ahead. Well, go ahead, no, Mr. ATF. Here, yeah, I'm going to get nice and hard for you. I want you to reach for it. Stand, yeah. stand your ground. The snake is the snake of "Don't tread on me" is just a coiled penis. You know? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that would be nice. You just get to hang out I with like, your buddies, uh, and all of you have cocks. I, I still want to talk about raping yourself. I like how, th with the whole time thing, if you go back in time, it's not your own universe. You know, it's like someone else's, and then you return to your own. Yeah. So there's really no psychological consequences of it either to yourself. It makes well, it definitely it's probably more a few. Though. I it think when you see the theory in your just own eyes. a literal crime. <laughs> no, you'd it's, be. It's definitely intact, literally so. just ped a pedophile. I mean, like it's a pedophile crime in general. But I just mean, like at this point, it's like not even you. I, d I would it's be you, fine. But it's not you. I would be fine because I'm taking all of this migraine medicine. <laughs> I would be you, fine. You guys, it's you guys who are going to have empathy and a problem. This. Yeah, you're going to look at the <laughs> yeah, fear could, in your I own eyes. I could go to sleep. Yeah, I could go to sleep. If anything, it would help me sleep. You know, you know how That's like my new NyQuil. you know how modern That's day. That's my new Nyquil. That's right. <laughs> Just like keeps you talking. About <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my Nyquil. Fucking myself from a different universe. That's my Nyquil. Yeah, well, uh, I that'd know. be an insane. That would be an insane Nyquil. That's that's brand how it comes about. It's aid. just a company trying to help people sleep. Yeah. Nice. Are you tired of tossing and turning? Uh. <laughs> and you just and, and like you know your partner doesn't want to <laughs> give one out. With the new Nyquil uh, time warp, go back and fuck yourself. With the new Nyquil Anytime time warp, you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a thing. It's like a. It's like one of those pills you take. You know, like Nyquil, they have like those little like, 
the pills with the NyQuil in it, whatever. You take it, <laughs> your eyes just like fucking glow, and you're like, oh! And you just like, you like just fucking like sink into yourself or something like that. Your only your clothes remain. So then you show up naked style Terminator, <laughs> Terminator fucking style. Terminator to the past. You just fucking you just show fucking... up and past you's riding a bike and they look behind them and suddenly there's a full grown man who looks quite a lot like them chasing them <laughs> down the street. Dead sprinting. <laughs> dead sprinting. <laughs> dead sprinting. <laughs> Just Daffy fucking. Duck style, fucking <laughs> flat foot, running down a pavement, just grunting. <laughs> <laughs> you have your fucking mongoose, your your friends in the back of the pants. <laughs> Dude, go, go! go! <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It's too heavy. Get off! I'm not gonna get off. You go faster. <laughs> oh no! A hell! <laughs> Like, <laughs> really trying to give it off. Oh, <laughs> Donald God. Duck feet slapping on the asphalt. It's such a good sound. And then you just <laughs> hear it. <laughs> slap, 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 slap. Just like little, little fragments of pebbles just fucking kicking up with a <laughs> sick take. Crazed look in the eye. Fucking spit flex. And the, the, most, the most delusional thing, too, is just fucking yelling your own name. Tom! <laughs> How's he know my name? How's he know my name? <laughs> <laughs> his uh, that weird, that weird bump in his cock is oddly recognizable. Yeah, wait, what is this? That looks kind of uh, like mine. <laughs> okay, like, you think it'd be, you think it'd be weird for the friend who's not related at all to this situation who just gets pushed aside and doesn't get raped. I think uh, they just watched the no whole matter, thing unfold. I think no matter which way you swing it, I think that kid's probably gonna be. It's, both it's like it's like Jumanji, emotionally scarred. It's like Jumanji where the thing happens, but like, but they convince the kid he's got you. insane. I don't want you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, Don. That'd be me. Get out of here, Don. Get. I don't want to do something I'm going to regret. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Flap, we're back. Flapping his hell yeah. Flapping, flapping his arms, running up the tall grass back to his house. <laughs> this is the first time Tom comes to the states what, and he gets fucking raped. What himself. is it? <laughs> it's hey, it's me. It's Don's dad. I'm I'm another yeah. character returning. What happened, What's boy? up? Boy, boy, run! Boy, run! My There's just an eighty-year-old Don Senior like pinning down your dad from behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 boy, oh, boy, run, boy, boy, run, boy! <laughs> Wait, my my dad's getting my dad's getting raped by eighteen year old. No, an eighty no, year old, 80, 80, an eighty year old 80. version oh, okay. of himself. <laughs> old, old, old Don <laughs> senior. <laughs> Well, you'd probably get weird anomalies like that. Like you go back, and then they, you know, overpower you and steal your Nyquil. Well, the fucked up thing is, <clears throat> do you think that you could go in the future if you had this? I don't know. Well, how do you or get could back? You in the past? They could use What's... your get back device. to Well, come I wonder. Fuck you. Well, I think that if you went the Nyquil mm. route, it would be something <laughs> where until the drug was processed through your system, right? Mm. So maybe so this like... is all while you're sleeping. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's in not a, a dream, because yeah. that would be lame. Yeah. No, no, no. no I'm no, saying no, that it's, it, you still fold in on yourself and go, but I'm just saying that it wears <laughs> off, and I think that you you are pieced back together, or you reappear back where you were, like you time jumped out, right? So if you were laying in your mm -hmm. bed, and you're like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to time jump real quick. All right, baby, have a good night. And you fucking scream. Ah! You <laughs> like fucking <laughs> disappear. You would reappear that same spot in the bed. You know what I mean? Like you, you rematerialize in that in that spot. I would imagine. What do you? What do you mean? You rematerialize in the bed you went to sleep in? Yeah, because it's like the the effect of the drug is wearing off. Right. So you come. So yeah, you come back. But it's right. But it's kind exactly. of a bummer mm. because like it's like Nyquil <laughs> for real, where you don't get proper sleep, so you're tired all day afterwards. You know, oh you're yeah, like, yeah. Oh no, god, it's a, it, why did I do that? You. It'll wreck you, but yeah. scientists will make versions where it's like, you know, bonus strength. <laughs> Get like six <laughs> extra hours. 500 milligrams of rape. Yeah. Like, oh, What's okay, going on? Yeah. He's usually gone by now. I got six more hours in me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 
that unironically would be a great horror movie idea. I know. I'm thinking that'd be about, so well, fucking and also crazy. A bad one. It oh, like it'd be so terrible. Brandon Cronenberg shit. Yeah, that yeah. it definitely has like possessor vibes kind of deal. Mm -hmm. It definitely has like a possessor vibe to it. But still, that would be just be so fucked up. Is like you just are visited by this person. It's your future self, just with a mental illness. <laughs> fucking trying to just rape the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pap. And like he he fucking it, makes you engage in after sex chat as well. <laughs> <laughs> Three more hours. Yeah, I'm a yeah. pap. That stands for past attracted persons. People don't really uh, accept it in my time, but I couldn't. Uh, I, I I mean I I couldn't help but notice that you still have that sealed copy of Fire Red over there. I'd, I'd keep that sealed up if I were you. <laughs> Try to see if you can't swindle dad into getting you another copy and you can play that one, but keep that bad boy sealed up. <laughs> it's going to be worth a lot. Well, I must be, <laughs> be heading back. I'll see you next week. <laughs> you won't even remember this. <laughs> you just keep saying it. To, you're not even going to remember this. Next every, week. You remember every time. Every time. Like it's all just a collection, a smear, a blur in your brain. That's so fucked. That is, yeah. I wonder if through the materialized process, you know what happens too is that like at first, people go back. This is how this is how paps do it, dude. Uh, you're a pap, yeah. And it's hmm. because these start originating because when people excessively go back to the past, their brain rematerializes in a really fucked way, and it's kind of like you know how uh, people suggest that serial killers kind of become serial killers in a way because at a young age they like hit their head and they, like fucks with the trajectory of how their brain develops and stuff. Mm. So, for you, when your brain keeps rematerializing, you just become more and more of, like, this fucking shell, like this, just, like, monster. Just need it your creates fix. this new breed of human, like a pap. Yeah. Yeah, you just keep needing to fucking go back, and it takes, it needs to be more and more violent to even make your brain receptors come alive again. Yeah. God. <laughs> You're right, that done. <laughs> <laughs> He's all hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 my oh, God. Fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Jesus Christ. Say that last part again. I feel like, um, mm. I feel like future Don would come back and have an immediate guilt trip as he's like trying to struggle to rip down the trousers of past Don. And it would become this. It would become this beautiful, God. this beautiful thing Rip where you become down. best friends. Rip down the trousers. No, we'd, yeah, we we stop, and then we we'd have a little sit down and a heart to heart, and I'd I'd come back a better person and not a pap. You'd be like, what? I really what thought happened? That, I, I really thought, I really thought that this was going to go a different way, Don. I think that you were introducing a whole new element, which is you sit down. And then you become so touched that you start like making out with yourself and then you fall in love. <laughs> and this becomes a weird thing where, where it's like your past self and your future self are in a relationship and it's like really looked upon weird. So it's like it's like a weird age gap difference when people are like, oh, he's 30, but she's 97 and they're fucking. <laughs> it's like that except with yourself. Or, or it becomes, oh, yeah, it becomes this weird thing where it's like people be like, I mean, I understand fucking them, but it's like to marry one. <laughs> yeah especially somewhere it's like especially somewhere it's like your future like you've been in a relationship with this person since he was seven or something right? and he's now he's 18 and you go back still and you're like going to his graduation and shit. <laughs> yeah my my future self is supposed to come to my graduate i'm really i'm really excited god he's so much older than you dude it's like that kind of thing yeah but i'm kind of mature for my age so <laughs> <laughs> he, tells me. he tells me I'm super mature. Yeah, for my age. yeah, he yeah but he, he says uh, he yeah he says I'm really really mature, which is cool. <laughs> it's cool. He told me to keep the fired seal thing, and that's how I paid for my car. So it's pretty, pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, your, yours just rapes you, dude. Mine mine tells me about the stock market. Yeah. Oh, so you don't have sex? Oh no, we have sex. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, we definitely keep, yeah we have sex. I like the idea of someone becoming a fat. Where they try and make their past self so delectable that the person in the future can't resist but to go back, you know? Put themselves in little compromising situations, wear something a bit slutty, kind of stand yeah, out stranded you, in well, the woods. You mean, you mean the, the guy in the past is trying to entice... Yeah, a fat, like a future attracted self. person. Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah. what I wouldn't give to be like filled to the brim by myself. Would that be able to work? Because you would, you, you would have to... Well, okay. Yeah, how do they observe Here, here's, you? here's another. Th here's another thought, actually, because if you're going back, the pill that you take, right? I'm just gonna say it's the pill. Yeah. If you take this that pill, because even the thing that I said doesn't really make sense, because it's like, <clears throat> would, you, would you? Are you just still going back well, to the I same? Do, I do have every time, or do you cross? 
I do have an answer though you know I mean? for this for this plot hole. And the answer mm. is is that new memories start flashing into your brain, like memories of you like up against an oak tree, popping oh. your ass out. And that, that 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 would affect every dimension. That's right. Yeah. So the past, mm. you, the yeah. fap is like basically putting new memories in your brain. You're like, oh my god, he's at the tree right now. Like like I remember being there uh, because he's there. Now, so do you see what no, I'm saying? No it's like a weird thing. In, it, it's like a weird thing in deja vu. Yourself. You know, yeah, there's there's right. some things we got to figure out. But um, <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking it's definitely not. You know, we're not we're not, <laughs> well, we're not, we're not, we're that, not swinging anybody's opinions. That right helps now. We're not, the you know. Pap's case. It's like you know, I was it wasn't my fault. I was raped by myself. That Every, made me this way. And he was he was, he's he's he was, he was dressed. Whose original <laughs> sin is? Yeah, he was dressed slutty. <laughs> I want to. I mean, guys, I was asking for it. I was asking for it. I, you know, here's the thing. We need to give ourselves a little bit of credit that you know, when Darwin wrote his first draft of the theory of evolution i'm sure he didn't have all the nicks and crannies figured yeah out. there's there's a there's some holes i'm sure and people didn't we gotta, believe i mean him. like give us some time to fucking go on the rivers and look at birds or whatever the fuck he did back in the day that's fucking crazy old bastard yeah no we, know, we give, don't give us some time yeah, exactly and you know it can be peer-reviewed and all the rest of it to see if i was and up also here's the thing too if anybody has any add-ons to this hypothesis this 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 uh, you know this this case study that we're presenting you can feel free to type in any kind of thing in the in the chat down below, and that'll act towards potentially any kind of you know scientific methods that we move forward with. You know, this could be people below could have very you know uh, convincing pieces of data you, that we can add to. Do this. you think it's wise to make our audience fill up our comments section with rape SEO? <laughs> You know, I uh, it's gonna rank us in a strange like place. To, I feel. I'd like to, well, I, I'd like to retract the uh, the <laughs> statement. <I made. laughs> let, let, let's leave this one to the professional. <laughs> we don't need just anyone without training getting involved. Yeah, that's no. fair. No, no, maybe, no. Maybe we maybe, uh, maybe we come up with a fun little code word, or we just yeah. What's a good rope? I'm not encouraged. Though. Rope, rope. Yes, rope. That's no, good. Just rope. <laughs> no, just, so no, about no, the no, rope we question, be, like, we can be in universe. I just, wouldn't rope myself. Make pap. Make pap the verb. Yeah, I mean pap Would can be a thing for us, pap right? Ah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got paps last night. Pap that your, was pap, rough. Pap, 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 pap yourself on the head and just uh, you know, have a good day, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I couldn't sleep last night. I really, you know. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could f fix this pap or whatever. You know what I mean? Like whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, I got a real. That's a fun. Uh, and I want, and I do, and I would. I think it'd be funny. I'm not. And you know, this is we're joking, right? Hey, I, I hate that I have to say, but we, I need to put this on record. But as a funny joke, I think it'd be funny <laughs> if someone designed. If we have any designers out there to design like an industry logo for what the pap thing. Dude, yeah, yeah, make the pap look very, but look very official, not gratuitous. Something that's tasteful that could be on a shirt. Well, something yeah. that you could sell in CVS. You know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, almost like a college, like a college logo. Like you know, Harvard. It's like that kind of thing. Not like an Ivy League school, but it has that vibe. Just like something that's like this is a. You're yeah. trying to dress up papping. To, almost like a, to be like yeah. legit. What does this stand yeah. for again? I already forgot. Past attractive persons. Past. Past attractive persons. Past person. attractive persons. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Well, you need to learn these okay. phrases, or we're ever <laughs> going to get this normalized. I don't. I yeah. don't think well, you can be like our 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 last and episode then back. Is future attractive. <laughs> yeah. Fact. Our last episode back. Gotcha. Was immediately demonetized. And I think th this episode is definitely going to be demonetized as well. <laughs> so having these keywords like PAP and stuff will let our pre-existing audience enjoy the episodes while we still are able to make something from it. So, you know, we have to introduce... Well, there's going to be a lot of yellow episodes, you know what I mean? But moving forward, we're going to see more greens as we're able to just talk. And no one, any new listener that listens, <laughs> be will have no idea what's happening. Because it's almost like talking in fucking military code or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't even think yeah. of the military applications of papping. Oh man! That's like, imagine you can turn turn an enemy's like you've got double O eight. You just fucking turn one of their guys onto your side, and he goes and paps himself to to weaken the military. Hmm. Okay, all right. Doesn't make the most sense. Right, because it's because it's. I'm just well, thinking about it. It's because it's legal, right? Sort of. You know, I, th I thought you were going to go the angle where you like as a form of like. You know, like, 
everything's coming out now where people are talking about like uh, Afghanistan war, all of the horrible things. Yeah, that's they a did pretty like, fresh Guantanamo new topic. Bay. Well, I mean, I've just been seeing it more. Uh, I've just been seeing more clips of it, or like people like documentaries talking about it and shit. I guess. I mean, obviously, they're hor people know the horrible shit that happened, but I'm just saying, like, I thought they were going to say like a new form of military torture would be like getting sent, like putting fucking bull testosterone in somebody's veins, giving them the Nyquil pill, and having them go back and fucking like terrorize themselves. <laughs> yeah, as a child, you know what I mean. But if you get if <laughs> like you get your enemies silent. to do that, it weakens their whole nation. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so you're saying you yeah. abduct people, you get them in, like, a Guantanamo Bay situation, you yeah. force-feed them the yeah. NyQuil. Like, imagine imagine we had Osama Bin Laden, right? And he'd we, dope him up. We get him addicted kind of thing, to papping. And yeah, and he becomes a pap. And then it's like, now he's just a, a shamble. He's a hollow version of himself. Could never plan 9-11. Could never hide out in a cave and play PS1 and smoke weed and watch porn. Or whatever they found and on them, whoever the fuck it yeah, was. Yeah, masturbate to Sasuke. Yeah, an anime and shit, which is just still such a dope reveal. Such a dope. I do love thing that he like, was more or less oh, like a yeah, fourteen-year-old yeah, American hentai. child. It wasn't hentai. He just he was he was just watching like anime and shit and playing like PS2 games and stuff. He, pro he like, probably he must have been hentai. I think. I feel like yeah. I mean, that, if he come on, if he, definitely. If he was watching anime, that's sick. I didn't know that. Yeah, which I, I don't know if I cool told you. Whenever play. I was touring my, just to uh, think it's funny, I was touring the house that I bought, whatever, and it's like a heavily religious family, and next to this kid's bedside, I don't remember if I said this, but next to the kid's bedside, um, he had the Bible, and right next to it was the first three issues of Naruto in paperback. <laughs> by it. I just thought that that was, uh, I thought that was like, I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> this kid's like, oops, I grabbed the wrong book. Goes down and <laughs> grabs his Bible or Naruto or whatever the fuck. It's just kind of funny. Well, like he only had three. I feel like maybe the parents found the Satan in those books early on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the hell's a Hokage? <laughs> <laughs> what is this witchcraft? It's like a, it's like a, it's like a president, dad. Get it out! Get it the fuck out of this house! How the fuck do you even say this name? What the hell is a Ner Naruto? What the hell is that? He kind of said it, dad. You're so kawaii. He just fucking beats him with a belt. Psh, psh, psh. That would be my move if my kid ever likes Naruto. If, yeah, well, if your if son kid ever likes Naruto, he's getting packed. Huh? Yeah. Probably. Daddy your Tom, you're so kawaii. <laughs> Yeah. I would dangle him out a window, dude, if he ever called me Kawhi. <laughs> yeah, Paul Michael Jackson moment to your old neighborhood. <laughs> Tom, stop it! Let him go! He's fine, I'm just playing. Yeah. We're just playing. We're just playing. We're just playing, we have a good time. Huh, my brain hurts from all that pap talk. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm pretty drained after the pap talk. <laughs> That, that fucked me up. <laughs> fucked me up. Everything else, er, everything else, else going on in my life, the fucking, the the ins and outs. This like, it's like, uh, it's like after you just got done doing a bunch of research for a school paper. That's what it feels like. It's like you're just kind of drained. It's just, just too much critical thinking. I think that there was a lot of critical iron thinking. Out the kinks. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. Inventing yeah, a whole new like... field of science will do that to you, won't it? <laughs> oh, that's true. All right. Well, I guess. Yeah, I'm tapped. Not only am I tapped, I am papped. Yeah, if I take care, everybody. Okay, that's bye. Bye. See ya.